Carve Solko is joining me because we're getting to that huge story that broke last night. Sheikh Jassim's out of the bidding process. Um, Jim Ratcliffe's closer to this 25%. What more can you tell us? I mean, we, we've been talking about this for a year almost, right? Um, and here we are. You, I mean, I have to say, you kind of called this because you said about the Glazers, how, how uh, realistic was this? Did they want to sell? Here we are, just seems out. I mean, the Glazers ultimately are going to do what is best for them. Yeah. And they believe that at the moment, the best thing to do is to sell 25% of Manchester United to Jim Ratcliffe for around £1.3 billion. As far as Sheikh Jassim is concerned, I've been trying to get a sense this morning of whether there's any chance that he may come back in mm. again. Is he bluffing? But I'm being told that, no, uh, this is it. He's out. Uh, he feels that uh, the deal for Sir Jim Ratcliffe to buy 25% of United is going to be ratified by the United board this week. And as far as he's concerned, he did his best. Uh, he tried to bridge the gap between reality and lunacy on <laughs> he's valuation. He's talking about money, isn't he? Yeah. He's talking about money. As far as he's concerned, he offered twice what Manchester United are worth according to their market capitalisation on the New York Stock Exchange. On top of that, he was willing to put in another £1.4 billion to improve the infrastructure uh, on community projects, on the team as well. He feels that he did what he could, but ultimately it wasn't enough as far as the Glazers are concerned. And I think the sense in his camp is that uh, the Glazers have really sort of wasted a lot of people's time because if they just wanted to sell a minority stake, they could have done this privately mm. a year ago and the fans and the whole club wouldn't have had to go through this whole process. Playing devil's advocate, but do you think they deliberately priced it at such a high price to, to sort of ward off anyone that was serious about because I mean that like you say it was just it was a ridiculous amount that they wanted for this so they were, were they ever in the market of selling their club ever I think they were in the market for selling the club if they got an outlandish valuation I think what happened is they were spurred on what happened what almost 18 months ago now with Chelsea when Chelsea were forced to basically be put up for sale mm. and Chelsea was sold for about 2.5 billion pounds. The bank handling that sale uh, said that they had an incredible amount of interest in selling Chelsea. There were all these billionaires, well, billionaires Sir Jim out there, wasn't he? In the well, billionaires frame, out there it? who were queuing up to buy Premier yeah. League clubs. So I think they convinced the Glazers to put United on the market. And then what happened is, in actual fact, we only ever had one serious bidder who right. wanted to buy 100% of the club. And that was Sheikh Jassim. And he wasn't going to bid against himself. He would tell you, if he ever speaks in public, that he offered double what United were worth. And that wasn't enough as far as the Glazers are concerned. OK, so where does that leave us then? Because I was just speaking to a member of Muster, you know, that it doesn't sound like they're going to be appeased with this situation of Sir Jim Ratcliffe having 25%. I mean, how much of an influence will he have over the club? And will, will this lead to him taking control eventually? These are all the questions that need to be answered this week. We will need to hear from Sir Jim Ratcliffe's camp. Uh, they've signed a non-disclosure agreement, so they haven't been able to say anything for 11 months. It'll be interesting to see what they have to say. Will they confirm that they will try to buy the whole club? Uh, will they confirm what their vision is, what their ambition is for the future? How is their partnership with the Glazer family going to work? Who's going to be in charge? Who's going to call the shots? Will it be the Glazers or will it be Sir Jim Ratcliffe? Is Sir Dave Brailsford, for instance, going to be involved, somebody who works closely uh, with Jim Ratcliffe? So there are lots of questions. And also, what is going to happen to Manchester United's debts? Mm. Before the Glazers arrived, United was a debt-free club. Their debts at the moment are up to almost a billion pounds. Now, Sheikh Jassim was on record as saying he would have cleared all those debts and also his takeover would effectively have been a cash deal. So he yeah. wouldn't have been borrowing money to buy Manchester United. So we've got the situation. Where is this money coming from that Sir Jim Ratcliffe is going to put into the club? £1.3 billion. What is that money going to be used for? Is that going to go in the Glazers' back pocket? 
or will it be used to redevelop Old Trafford, uh, to spend more on players? Also, I'm assuming that 33% of that money is going to have to go to shareholders who own the shares uh, that are listed on the New York Stock Exchange. Mm. So 33% of that money is going straight away. So these are the kind of questions that United fans will want answered. What does Sir Jim Ratcliffe want to do? Is he going to be happy with just having 25% of the club? Does he want the whole club? Are we going to hear from the Glazers? What do they want to do? Because at the moment, what has happened seems to suit the Glazer family but I'm not sure it suits the future of Manchester United. Just finally then, I, I think the, the fans are slightly concerned about what's going to happen. Like I say, there's lots of questions to be answered, isn't there? But in terms of Sir Jim Ratcliffe, you know, he's an incredibly wealthy businessman. You don't get that wealthy without being very savvy. Is this in any way a risk, do you think, to, to get in bed with the Glazers financially? I put you right on the spot, haven't I? Well, Sorry, look, I'm, 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 you know, <laughs> uh, if ultimately he wants to buy the whole of Manchester United and if the deal he signs with the Glazers has guarantees that they will sell the rest of their shares to him at a set price in the future, uh, then there is a path to him uh, owning 100% of Manchester United, then I think a lot of United fans will be happy. Yeah. Because... Jim Ratcliffe ticks a lot of boxes. As you said, he's a self-made billionaire. Mm. He's a Manchester United supporter. Uh, he was born not that far from Old Trafford. He is a local lad who's done well, yeah. extraordinarily well. He's a billionaire. He's one of the richest people in the UK. Uh, he has a track record of investing in sports as well. Uh, on the other side, you could say, well, he's tried to buy other clubs in the yes. past. Chelsea, didn't he? He tried to buy Chelsea. Oh. I think he tried to buy Barcelona yeah. as well. He already owns Nice. He owns Lausanne. Uh, he's a tax exile uh, who lives in Monaco. Uh, he's a very busy businessman with lots of different interests. How much time can he actually uh, afford to give to Manchester United? These are the kind of questions that need to be answered. You know, no United fans are dancing in the streets of Manchester at the moment because... I think the vast majority of them wanted a clean break mm. with the Glazers. And that is not happening at the moment. You need to sit down with Sir Jim Ratcliffe, don't you, really? Hope he answers his phone to you.